Oh, yeah. Lava Tsunami versus the Titanic. Oh. Hello, YouTube. Modal Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Floating Sandbox. And yes, folks, we're back once again. And today we've already sank a ship. Like, we just started the episode, and this cruise ship has been split in half. So, we're gonna help this cruise ship today, because you guys had a lot of really good suggestions from the last episode. So, I think the first thing we can do to help it, let's go ahead and get rid of this. This is, like, not necessary. So, you guys were suggesting that I go into the simulation settings, and we play with the water buoyancy. So, if we go to the mechanics and fluids... Uh, we'll go to the uh, density here, and we're going to make it a lot less dense. So let's go to that. Okay. This is totally not working. Oh, it totally is working. So the idea is to make it float, even though it's in the water, which there's still a lot of water in here. Can we put these two pieces back together? Like, is that a thing? Can we repair this? I feel like we started this off on the wrong foot here. This uh, the ship didn't have a chance. You know, maybe if we go this way with it, does that help? Nope, that's definitely making stuff sink faster. Okay, go this way. Look at the bubbles, by the way. <laughs> so the bubbles go down, the bubbles go up. All right, you can stop with the sad music. We get it. Everybody's dead. Can we move these out of the water real quick? Does this work? Okay, let's try to put this back together. Oh, no. Okay, I swear we could put this back together. Okay, so let's put this up here. Let's put this up here. We'll just get some uh, flex tape, and we'll put this all back together, right? Can I still modify this while we're in this state? Uh, let's try to repair this real quick because this isn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to make the water super buoyant and that way everything floated on top of it, including sinking ships, but I'm not sure that's a thing. Also, by the way, if you're enjoying floating sandbox on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's try to save this ship real quick. All right, this is fine. We're repairing it. I don't, is this putting it back together? Can we weld two things back together? That needs to be like an option. Like, welding two pieces back. Hold on, let's try to repair the front here. Uh, we have, like, a permanent split up in the front. This is fine. Okay, work on that. Okay. I like how stuff from the water is getting pulled back up. I feel like this might actually work. Okay. So, hold on. We need to drain it a little bit. Can I drain it while it's paused? I know we can fix it. Uh, can we dry this thing out? Okay, that's filling it. I don't think this works. Um... Okay, so we're probably going to have to reset the ship, but we can try pinning it up. Would that be a thing? So this might dry the ship out, so let's let it drain real quick. All right, resume. Yep. Okay, that completely didn't work. Uh, that didn't work at all. I think we were past the point of no return there. Yeah, it's going down to the bottom, but the bubbles are going straight up. Okay, so I've reset the ship. Obviously, that was just a complete failure, which I'm kind of used to that because it's kind of my channel. But let's go ahead and go back to the fluid mechanics, and let's go ahead... Okay, if we go this way, you can see the ship is basically on top of the water now. Now, if we go back down to one, you can see it's getting closer to where it normally sets. And then if you go this way, it sinks, which, oh, oh, geez, oh, geez. Okay, go back up, go back, oh, no. Okay, we're good. The ship is perfectly fine. Is it going to nail the landing here? Wait, since it's jumping, the water's buoyant now. Will it not sink? Oh, look at that. I almost want to test how far can we drop this? Like, if we were to drop it from up here. Hold on. Do you guys think it's going to survive the fall? I mean, the water is super buoyant. It's like four times buoyant. Or more buoyant. I don't even know how to say that. It's a lot buoyant. I can't English today. All right, here it goes. Boom. Look at that. Okay, we got to try the ultimate drop then. Can it survive a drop from the heavens? Here we go. Uh, actually, you know what? I want to go even more extreme. Let's go up here. Okay. Wait, what if we just threw it straight up? We just go, wee. Okay, there it goes. Nope, not far enough. Okay, go up. There you go. We got a flying ship. Uh, at some point this is going down. Could you imagine being aboard this? Actually, probably right now you're probably stuck to the ceiling, praying uh, that you don't die. <laughs> All right. Wait, is this thing floating? Or is it just falling really, really slow? This seems really slow, huh? Let's get a, a really wide view here. Yeah, why is it not... Wait. Did I make the air buoyant or something? Like, what's wrong with the air? Uh, hold on. Simulation settings. I feel like we did something here. 
Uh, did we screw with the air? We did nothing. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, this is fine. Um, sure. Also, we can uh, adjust the water intake. Uh, we can make it to where it doesn't sink as fast. It's kind of cool. All right, we'll be back in like 20 minutes. Here it goes. It's going to hit with such speed and force that, yeah, it's basically floating. Hold on. Here we go. And that seemed to be no different. So does this make this tsunami proof now? On trigger tsunami. I mean, you would think it would. Like a lot of times the ship will go down in the tsunami and it'll rip it in half. But since the water's so buoyant now, it should just float right over it. Oh yeah, there it goes. Oh geez, it might flip it actually. Uh-oh. Oh, what the heck? It flung it in the sky. All right, so this makes it tsunami proof too. What if we put a hole in it? Hold on, let's put a couple holes in it. This is, this is fine. All right, let's go smash, smash. I think it's so buoyant that, okay, it's gonna fill up with some water, but it drains itself. Okay, what if it just didn't have a bottom? What if it was like this? Does it sink fast enough? It doesn't. We made it sink proof. Tsunami proof. Like this would have saved the Titanic. Just uh, make the water buoyant. Uh, this makes no sense. Okay, hold on, let's go another layer. Look at this. Okay, hold on, we finally did it. All right. Oh, it's playing the music, but I think it's playing it a little premature here. It's not going down as fast as it should. Hold on, let's take another layer off. Actually, this might lift it out of the water a bit. It's gonna lose a bit of weight. Look at that. What the heck? Okay, so water buoyancy, you, you guys are right. This pretty much makes it sink proof. Like, it's playing the music, but it's not going down any further. I would have to cut this thing in half. Even then, still not sink proof. You know, I don't know what we're doing here today. What are we proving? Probably nothing. Okay, this is fine. Okay, so I have an idea. So if we do the same thing, water density all the way up, but we're gonna heat the water. So we're gonna make it essentially lava. So we'll go water temperature up. Here, let's pause the simu- Oh no, it just burst into flames. What is this made out of? Metal, right? It's not wood. I guess it's just that hot. All right, hold on, let's, uh, we gotta make it look right here. Let's go with the hot lava, there we go. All right, this is fine. Okay, so what do you guys think is gonna happen? I might need to get the extinguisher out in order to try to fight the fires, but do you think the bottom's gonna melt down since it's so buoyant? I don't know, we're running like some really screwed up uh, sort of science experiments or something, so here we go. Okay, it's burning, it's doing that. Uh-oh, fire extinguisher. It's fine, just, just keep it from completely combusting. Look at the bottom of it, it's starting to get all wavy and stuff. Oh, that's cool. All right, on, fight the fires. This is, uh, this is still working, even though it, it wants to burst into flames. Uh-oh. Okay, it's really turning into jello now. I think it's just gonna be like molten metal on top of the lava here. Oh, oh, it's starting to give out. Wait, what's, wait, what the heck? What's up with the bottom of this ship? And Oh, no. Okay, so it still melts. It just takes it a little bit longer. So you saw with the buoyancy settings, how we have them, how long that took. So for science, we're gonna do it again, except for we're gonna have the normal settings uh, for the uh, water density. So let's go back to one here. So we'll do that. Let's go ahead and reload the ship. Okay, watch this. Okay, same settings. Let's see how quick it goes down. Oh, it's melting much faster. Oh, the droop is real. But, wait, it looks different. It's not doing that weird tear that it was doing. Like, it just looks like it's just drooping. Okay. Well, you know, there's actually not that much of a difference, is there? There's the tear. Yeah, it's going down slightly faster, I would say. I mean, we were kind of fighting the fires last time, and oh, dear. All right, so that ship doesn't do good against uh, molten lava. Uh, what if we were to try something else? Also, lava tsunamis, is that a thing? This is cool looking. All right, so going through my ships, I'm trying to figure out what actually might be strong enough. Uh, we've got the Britannic, um, maybe that one? Here, let's try the Britannic real quick. 
I'm kind of curious, like, what the differences are in the materials here. Oh, no. That one was way weaker than the cruise ship. It, like, instantly collapsed there. Okay. Britannic, definitely not good against lava. Let's uh, try something else. Uh, oh, there it goes. Say goodbye to it. I mean, that still looks amazing. Like, ever since they added it to where you can change the properties of the, the water, like, that's cool. Which, by the way, it's playing the fun music again. I like this. Like, are we happy this happened, or, or what's the deal here? <laughs> that's one song that's a little questionable since they've added since the last update. I don't quite understand that one. It's fine. All right, I'm trying to find something that's strong here. I mean, the Titanic, it's about the same. Oh, why is that so much weaker? That instantly exploded, Han. Huh? Reset it? What? Why does it explode? Look at this. The Britannic is essentially the sister ship, right? But the Titanic seems to be much weaker. The, this is fine. So much for putting it up against a tsunami of lava. By the way, I want to see that real quick. Let's uh, let's go ahead and trigger the tsunami real quick. What is a uh, what's a lava tsunami look like? Oh dear. Oh, that's cool looking. All right, let's uh, let that get about right here, and we'll reset the Titanic. And we're gonna fling the Titanic goo through the air. Yes, I just said that. That sounds weird. Okay, I know what I need to do now. I need to get the Titanic out of the water or out of the uh, the lava real quick. Here, we're gonna fling it up in the air. All right, so we're gonna spawn in the tsunami now. I wanted to actually hit it, but I didn't realize that when you reset everything, it like completely resets the, uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, it resets the tsunamis too when you reset the ship. So we just gotta keep it up in the air. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen here. This is cool. By the way, have we ever made the air temperature so hot that when we hold the ship up in the air that it droops down? I don't know if that's a thing. Like, I feel like that could be. Oh, I think we timed this perfect, potentially. On, move this down a little bit. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Lava Tsunami versus the Titanic. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. Okay. Why did I think that was going to look different? Nope. There it goes. Oh, that's so cool looking. By the way, it's playing the funny music again. Yep, that's the thing. All right, so we've reset it. So we're going to do the opposite. What I think is going to happen here, I think it's just going to burst into flames. Uh, I don't think it's going to melt quite the same way. I could be wrong. So let's pause it. Let's go air temperature all the way. I thought I just paused it. Did I not pause it? Okay, maybe it didn't pause. Oh, so it did just burst into flames. Let's get it out of the water so that way it's not cooling. And let's go up here. There we go. So is it starting to melt is the question. Maybe only water can melt it when it's hot. Like this just seems to be bursting into flames. Hold on, let's yeet it up in the sky. There we go. Give it plenty of time to start to melt. Like I want to say this is going to work and it's going to look really cool. Wait, okay, so it just blew up again in the same spot. But I don't think it's drooping. We could pull it up. Hold on. By the way, can we start the engines? I think they're dead. On uh, do the uh, do the bells work? No, nope, foghorn's gone. Everything's gone. No, it's not melting though. Hold on, let's yeet it up one more time. I want to give it plenty of time to attempt to melt. Uh, does it look like it's drooping? It does not. Okay, so that's a thing. So if we had the water really cold, like freezing, when it drops, what's gonna happen? So water temperature, actually you, you can't go down any further on it. So it's at its bottom, wait, what? Oh, so you can only go up and make it really hot. Okay, you know what, let's just go ahead and go wee. This is fine, and let's go max burning particles. Let's turn that up to max. I don't know what that's gonna do. Uh, we can also adjust the melting point and combustion speed, this is fine, okay? All right, so now you've got the on fire Titanic dropping because the air's super hot. And it's going to drop into the boiling hot water, which is rippling right now. This is great. We're going to put out fire with boiling water. I mean, technically that should work, but it's probably not a good idea for everybody aboard. But what am I saying? The whole thing's engulfed in flames. I don't think I've ever seen something like this. Like, the fire can't keep up with the ship because it's obviously dropping, but it just looks incredible. 
All right, we're almost there. We and here we go into the boiling hot water. All right, pause the simulation. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make it cold. Let's go air temperature and water temperature all the way down. Let's turn this back down to where, I don't know where it actually was. We'll go 144, it's fine. Okay, resume. So it hardened the ship. Hold on. Yeah, the, it, that's actually cool. Like it was starting to melt, like the top part did, but we cooled it down. So now it's like hard, but everybody's still dying. It's kind of weird how the, uh, the four funnels broke off. That's kind of weird. Like the cabins like above the hole all burned up. The funnels were okay. Huh? By the way, I don't know what song this is. This is weird. Shall we, uh, shall we attempt to like, I don't know, pull it up a bit? Oh, let's go. Eh? Try to attract it. Okay, this is not working. I think we need to turn this to ultra violent mode in order to get this out of the water real quick. This is fine. All right, ultra violent mode is active. All right, let's pull this bad boy out of the water. Uh, we're helping the Titanic survive. There it goes. And then we're going to RKO it back down in the water real quick. Whee! There it goes. Oh. oh, and pull it down. Let's just pull it down into the ground here. Dude, we can make it disappear. <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at the particles going crazy right now. And release. That's so cool. All right. So we have the Goodyear blimp here. Kinda got an idea. Hold on, we need to. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, we popped the balloon. So I still have the attract mode. That that was something. Watch how this works. So you're gonna see the balloon get stripped from the cab. Let's go. Whee! <laughs> I didn't actually want to do it that way. Okay, reset. All right. So now that we've been playing with the air. If we just make the air hot up here, let's go air temperature. At what point does this combust? There we go. Dude, that was it. Oh, it popped. I'm pretty sure this is what the Hindenburg did. It just popped. Okay. Reset that down. I don't really know what I was going to accomplish here with this, but yeah, hold on. Put that back. There we go. So we saw what the attract did. I, I think I need to make sure ultraviolence off so we can actually make it fly. I mean, you could always just turn on the engine and it worked too, but it doesn't work fast enough for me. Like this is the Goodyear blimp on steroids. So let's just go, Wee, there it goes, look at that. We can attract it, we can make it move. I mean, it's kind of ripping, but it's working, is it not? Wait, does the Goodyear blimp float? I mean, in theory, it's a big floaty. Hold on, let's go down, okay. Just dip it. Oh, why is it breaking? Uh, oh, well, this is awkward. Oh, I left it back up. Get it up out of the walk. Okay, the Goodyear blimp is kind of fragile. Yeah, that's not a thing. Oh, can we pull it up? Oh, we're getting it up out of the water. Look at that. We got to drain it. Oh, come on. There we go. We saved everybody. The cab's totally fine. Hold on, let's pause it. Oh, we just yeeted it off into the water. Never mind. Everybody died. This is cool. I could play with this game all day. Like, there's so many different combinations of things to do and things to break. So, if you guys have any suggestions for future episodes, let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see you guys next time in Floating Sandbox.